evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Robert H. Adams Field in Holliston for Ashland Sevens Baseball, airing on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAT in Holliston. And tonight, 6 and 0 Ashland takes on 4 and 2 Milton. Tom Nappy, happy to be on the call here this evening in this. Massachusetts Independent Baseball League matchup. Of course, the Legion season was canceled, but a number of Legion teams throughout the state have got together to play independent baseball. Ashland and Natick, two Zone 5 teams that joined in with the Zone 6 Independent League, which is called the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Let's take a look at the Milton lineup. Before we do that, we'll just let you know it's Tyler Dossis who is pitching today for the Ashland Sevens. The Milton lineup consists of second baseman Jack Facey leading things off. The shortstop, Andrew Posse, is batting second. Finn Doherty, the right fielder, hitting third. The center fielder, Jack Balboni, is in the cleanup spot. Third baseman, Charlie Walker, batting fifth. Center fielder, Colin Hoey, hitting sixth. First baseman Tim Cooper hitting seventh. Catcher Michael Donahue hitting eighth. And DH Jack Crowley hitting ninth for four and two. Milton, who is led by head coach Dan Sweeney. For the Ashland Diamond, it's Tyler Dossis on the hill. His battery mate is Isaac Curley. At first base, Dom Cavanaugh. The second baseman is Mason Dushney. The shortstop is Dan Quinn. The third baseman is Shea Donovan from left to right. Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese for the undefeated Ashland Sevens. It is a humid night here in Holliston. It was in the 90s all day long, the mid to high 90s. And tonight it has dropped down to about 88, but still a very humid night. But in any case, these two teams are ready for some baseball here at Robert H. Adams Field. Ashland Middle School had two home games so far at Ashland Middle School, but today their home turf is here in Holliston as Jack Facey steps in, wind up and the pitch. That pitch was inside, and the home plate umpire is behind the pitcher's mound as is very common nowadays with the virus threat. And there was a, recently a scare in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League as a relative of one of the players tested positive for the virus. So everyone on one of the junior teams in the league is going to have to get tested before they resume play. As there's another strike there. One and two is the count on Facey. It'll certainly be an adjustment getting used to the home plate umpire behind the pitcher's mound. Two and two. But it's also been an adjustment for them for sure. And this is hit right back to the pitcher. Dossis handles it, throws to first, one away. It'll bring up Andrew Posse, the shortstop. Nice play there by Dossis. Andrew Posse steps in. First pitch is a strike. And 0 and 1 count. Well, Coach Obit has said that he has really enjoyed what he's seen off of Dossa so far this season as he delivers a nice breaking pitch strike there. Tyler Dossa is a 17 year old out of Assabet Valley High School. Wind up and the pitch, a little high. Graduated this past spring. One and two count on Posse. And this is hit in the air, foul territory towards us, and it is caught for the out. Shea Donovan makes the catch, two away. And correction, that is not going to be an out. That ball was out of play, so that will not count. 
So Posse steps back in. And there is a strike. And that is going to be the out anyhow. Two away, and that'll bring up Finn Doherty. Well, Doss is dealing so far. And this is fouled away up the right side. And 0 and 1 count. Just outside, says the umpire. One and one. He deals. A little low there. Two and one. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. That'll even up the count at two apiece. Doss is set to deliver. And this is up the middle, and it's gloved by the second baseman. Throw over by Dushney, no problem. One, two, three, they go in the top half of the first. To the bottom of the first we go. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball on WACA TV, HCAM, and HCAT. Bottom of the first inning, the Ashland Sevens coming to the play. Leading things off will be the pitcher. Tyler Dossis, followed by center fielder Sam Farrell. And then the left fielder Kevin Balowitz bats third. Dom Cavanaugh in the cleanup spot and playing first base. Mason Dushney, the second baseman, batting fifth. Danny Quinn, the shortstop, hitting sixth. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, hitting seventh. Isaac Curley, the catcher, hitting eighth. And Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. As Jake Donahue, the pitcher, delivers. And there's strike one. Take a look at the Milton Diamond in just a moment. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs. One and one. Jake Donahue on the mound. Michael Donahue is his battery mate behind home plate. Tim Cooper at first base. Jack Facey, the second baseman. Andrew Posse, the shortstop. Third baseman, Charlie Walker. Line up and the pitch. There is a strike. From left to right, it is Colin Hoey. Jack Balboni and Finn Darty in right field for four and two Milton. There's ball two, two and two. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss, so number one. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. There's a strike to Farrell. Well, it looks like we may have a pretty good pitcher's matchup on our hands today. Wind up and the pitch. There's a ball. One and one is the count on Farrell. And it'll take ball two there. Sam Farrell hitting a 385 so far on the season. 24 plate appearances, 13 at bats. A 667 on base percentage. Line up and the pitch. There's a called strike. Two and two. Farrell has three RBIs and 11 runs scored on the season. Takes one high there. That'll fill up the count. Well, the Ashland 7 6 and 0 on the season in their last game. They Captured a victory over Canton, a 14-7 win as that one's followed away. And that was a game that the pitcher
pitching just wasn't working really for either side. But the Ashland Sevens bats came alive and were able to take the game. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit high in the air over to center field and it is caught for out number two. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Well, pretty deep outfield here at Adams Field. There is no outfield fence, however. So pretty much the parking lot would be home run territory. Balowitz steps in, takes one low, one and oh. Kevin Balowitz, a 333 batting average on the season, 500 on base percentage, four runs scored, seven RBIs. Gets a piece of this one, past the reach of the third baseman, picked up by the shortstop, he doesn't have a play. It's a two-out single for Balowitz. That'll bring up the cleanup man, Dom Cavanaugh, who's at first base today. Tom Cavanaugh hitting a very impressive 389 on the season. 478 on base percentage. 12 RBIs and three runs scored. First pitch is a strike from Donahue. Donahue deals, and this is hit up the middle, grabbed by the shortstop, flipped to second for the force out, and out number three to the second inning we go. We are scoreless. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Top of the second inning. Milton coming back up to the plate. Starting things off in the inning is going to be Jack Elboni, the center fielder. Four, five, and six hitters due up as Doss is set to deliver. There's a strike. Jack Belboni, Charlie Walker, and Colin Hoey due up. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. So oh and two. Swing and a miss there. A three pitch strikeout for Dossis. Impressive stuff so far from Dossis. The Asabet Valley graduate and 17 year old set to deliver to Charlie Walker, the third baseman. There's a strike. Dossis so far on the season has pitched five innings as he delivers another strike there. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. And this is going to be fouled away. Count remains 0 and 2. Dossis has thrown five innings, faced 18 batters. And has not given up any runs so far this season. Has given up only three hits. He's expected to have a big role for this Ashland Sevens pitching staff as that's fouled away. Into the park behind us, count remains 0 and 2. Line up and the pitch. Fouled into the backstop. Backstop here at Adams Field, very close to home plate. Not a whole lot of ground behind it. Swing and a miss. There's another strikeout for Dossis. That's three strikeouts already for Dossis. That'll bring up Colin Hoey, the left fielder. Hoey takes ball one, one and oh. Dossis, a quick working pitcher. And oh, he took a late time, which was granted. That 
Pitch inside, 2-0. Wind up and the pitch this is hit foul. Two and one. Two one pitch from Dossis. Now low. Three and one. Time called by the pitcher. Doss is set to deliver. And this is up the right side, gloved by Kavanaugh. He'll step on the bag for the out, a three unassisted ground out to wrap up the top half of the second. One, two, three, they go. To the bottom of the second, we go. We are scoreless. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Bottom of the second inning, due up for the Ashland Sevens, five, six, and seven. Mason Dushney, the second baseman. Danny Quinn, the shortstop, and Shea Donovan, the third baseman. As Dushney set to step in. Scoreless game so far. And some quick moving pitching performances early on in this one. See if that trend continues. And we're gonna get a little, little chat here between Michael Donahue and Jake Donahue. Two brothers cheering each other on. set to go and that pitch is going to be a ball Dushni had a 200 mark on the season 10 at bats wind up and the pitch there's a strike one and one is the count Donahue set to deal. Upstairs, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, foul territory, and that's going to be out of play. Two and two. Mason Dushney has an RBI on the season and two runs scored. Donahue set to deliver. Swing and a miss, so number one. That'll bring up Danny Quinn, the shortstop. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit here at Adams Field. Fortunately, it's a pretty pleasant win after a very hot day today. Wind up and the pitch, and that hit him. Quinn gets a free pass to first base, and that'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Danny Quinn improving on that 412 on base percentage. And here comes Shea Donovan to the plate. At a 111 on the season and nine at bats. Has an RBI and run to his credit. One on, one out for the sevens. Donahue deals and that's fouled away.
Tom Hamilton on camera from WACA TV. Tom Nappy on the call for Ashland Sevens Baseball. The 1 1 upstairs, and Quinn, who is leading off of first, retreats back to the bag. Donahue set to deal. That's fouled away. One and two, the count on Donovan. Isaac Curley do up next for the sevens. Slight lead off of first for Danny Quinn. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike, and that'll be out number two. That's the third strikeout of the game for Milton's Jake Donahue. That'll bring up Isaac Curley, the catcher. Donahue looks at first and deals. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Time taken here by the pitcher. Danny Quinn over at first base. He was hit with a pitch. A pitch inside to Curley, one and one. Curley has got significant time in the catcher's role for the sevens. Pitch in there for a strike, one and two. As a Curley looking for his first hit of the season. He has five at bats to his credit, six plate appearances. Runner taking off from first as that one's fouled away. We will have to go back. Count remains one and two. Donahue deals, a pitch up high, runner taking off, throw to second, is going to be in time. Quinn's caught stealing, and we will head to the top half of the third inning. We are scoreless between Ashland and Milton. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Top of the third inning, seven, eight, and nine due up for Milton. So far, Dossis has thrown two, one, two, three innings. And we'll see if he can continue his success against the bottom part of this Milton batting order. Tim Cooper, Michael Donahue, and Jack Cruley do up. Doss is set to deliver. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Nice breaking pitch, but a little high, says the home plate umpire. One and one. One, one pitch. And this is ripped into center field. That'll get down for a leadoff single for Cooper. Michael Donahue, the catcher, will step in. First hit of the game for Milton. Doss is working from the stretch. There's a bunt, slow roller, and it's picked up by Doss, and he doesn't have a play on it. A great bunt there by Donahue. 
Cooper advances up to second, Donahue at first. That'll bring up Jack Crowley, the DH. And this is going to be lined up the middle, right back to Doss's throw to first, and he doubles him up. A liner out for Crowley, and then he caught Michael Donahue off the bag for the double play. So a one to three double play, it ends up being there. Tim Cooper remains at second. Jack Facey, the second baseman and leadoff man in the batting order, steps to the plate. What a nice snag there by Dossis. And was so quick getting that throw off to first base to catch Donahue off the bag. Here's the 0-1. And this is going to take a couple hops up the left side, pulled down by Donovan, throw to first, not a problem. Five to three, four out number three to the bottom of the third we go. We are scoreless here at Robert H. Adams Field in Holliston. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Bottom of the third inning. Scoreless game so far between the Ashland Sevens and Milton. You are tuned in to the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Ashland Sevens Baseball. Airing on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, and HCAT in Holliston as Jake Donahue is set to deal. And there's strike one to Isaac Curley. Isaac Curley, Nick Calabrese, and Tyler Dossis do up for the sevens. Here's a strike, 0 and 2. Curly trying to get his first hit of the season. Another strike there, and that's out number one. It'll bring up Nick Calabrese, who is hitting a very impressive 625 on the young season. 19 plate appearances, 16 at bats, a 684 on base percentage, one RBI, and seven runs scored. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Set to deliver, and this is ripped up the right side. That'll get down for a base hit. And Calabrese is aboard with a one out single. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the pitcher. Dossis a 353 on the season at the plate. 21 plate appearances, 17 at bats. Six runs scored and one driven in. Let's see if he can help his own cause here. Line up and the pitch. Down low. One and oh. One on, one out for the sevens. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, and I think that hit the umpire, and it's going to be a fair ball. Everyone's safe. Well, obviously you have the disadvantage of the umpire having to play behind the pitcher's mound due to the newly implemented rules because of COVID-19, and sometimes you're going to get situations like that, but it does work out for the Sevens, who now have two on with one out. Sam Farrell coming to the plate. From the stretch is Donahue. And this is right to the third baseman who will step on the third for one throw to first. And he doubles them up, a five to three double play 
for Milton. And after a rough break with the ball hitting the umpire, they come out of it okay. And we will head to the top half of the fourth. Milton zero, Ashland zero. You are tuned in to Ashland's sevens baseball. The lights are starting to come on here at Robert H. Adams Field as we enter the top half of the fourth inning. Scoreless game so far and what has the makings of a pitcher's duel between Milton and Ashland as this is hit in the air and caught by the shortstop. Dan Quinn backpedaling a couple steps to make the catch. One pitch, one out, and Finn Doherty, the right fielder, will step in for Milton. Doss is set to deliver. Nice breaking pitch there, strike one. That pitch down low, one and one. Light up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air past the reach of Quinn. That'll be a one out single for the right fielder. That'll bring up Jack Balboni, the center fielder. One on, one out. For Milton as Dossis will work from the stretch. And this is fouled off, 0 oh and 1. Doss is set to deal. Swing and a miss, 0 oh and 2. Runner with a slight lead at first, check in, runner slides back safe. It's Finn Doherty, the right fielder over at first. Dossis looks at first base and delivers. Upstairs. A one and two count. Pitch slightly high, two and two. We'll get you the standings of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League in a few moments. Finn Doherty once again with a slight lead off of first as that pitch will hit the batter. That'll put two on with one out. Doherty up to second, Belboni to first, and that'll bring up Charlie Walker, the third baseman. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Toss this from the stretch. Just up high. Taking a look at the standings, Ashland at the very top with six wins, no losses. The only undefeated team left as this is a rope right to the third baseman. He's able to make the catch and then throws it to second to double them up. And that is going to be a five to four double play to wrap up the top half of the fourth. To the bottom of the inning we go. Milton zero, Ashland zero. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Bottom of the fourth inning, the Ashland Sevens coming back up to the plate after a nice double play to wrap up the top of the inning. Ended up being a five to four double play as a line drive right at Shea Dunham. He's able to make the catch, step on the bag and throw it over to Dushney. Due up this inning is three, four and five. Kevin Ballowitz, Dom Cavanaugh and Mason Dushney. 
First pitch is low to Balowitz. One and oh. Jake Donahue and Tyler Doss is having quite the pitcher's duel so far in this one as this is up the left side foul. One and one. Balowitz singled in his only played appearance so far tonight. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. One and two, nice pitch there. Continuing on with the standings that we started to show you in the top half of the inning. Ashland six and oh, Medfield five and one. Franklin four and one is that pitch up high. Braintree four and two, Milton four and two. Quincy three and three, Hyde Park three and three. Natick is three and three. Walpole three and two. More after this pitch. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air right at the shortstop. What a catch there. A nice catch by Andrew Posse for out number one. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. So Hyde Park three and three. Quincy three and three. Natick three and three. Walpole is three and two. Norwood three and three. First pitch to Cavanaugh's ball one. Westwood two and three, Needham two and four, Dedham one and four, Canton one and five, Weymouth one and four, and Kingston zero oh and four in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League standings. Line up and the pitch. Kavanaugh gets a good piece of this one over to center field. Backtracking and making the catch in that very deep center field is Jack Balboni two away. Well, in a lot of fields, that might have been out of here, but here at Robert H. Adams Field, pretty deep to center. And no problem there for Belboni to make the catch as Mason Dushney steps in. Swing and a miss, a nice breaking pitch there. Up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. So and two. Donahue set to deliver the 0 2. And this is hit in the air over to left field. That'll get down for a hit. It'll be a two out single for Mason Dushney. A good piece of hitting there. That'll bring up Danny Quinn, the shortstop. That is the fourth hit of the game for the Sevens. Of course, we are scoreless between Milton and Ashland. Line up and the pitch, down low. Runner's gonna take off, the throw up is not in time. And a stolen base for Mason Dushney. That was a good job there by Dushney as he took off and Donahue had a little bit of trouble catching that last pitch. It was nearly able to get him, but Mason Dushney showing off the wheels to get into scoring position. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one is the count. Donahue set to deliver. And this is hit high in the air over to center field and it is caught by the shortstop for the third out of the inning. We'll head to the top of the fifth. We will remain scoreless between Milton and Ashland. You are tuned in Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the fifth inning. Colin Hoey do up the left fielder. 
Followed by Tim Cooper and Michael Donahue, 6, 7, and 8 in the Milton batting order. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first. Not a problem. A nice throw over by Shea Donovan. 5 to 3, 4 out number 1. That'll bring up Tim Cooper, the first baseman. There's a strike. Good movement on that breaking ball there. Fouled away, 0 and 2. Time is called. And Isaac Curley going to have a word with Dossus. No two pitch coming up here with one out. Leg left and the pitch. And this is up the middle, glove by the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Four to three for out number two. Michael Donahue, the catcher, will step in. Michael Donahue singled in his only plate appearance back in the third. Takes ball one here. The 1 0. Down low. Line up and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one. That's a fair ball right to the first baseman. He'll step on the bag. Not a problem. A three unassisted ground out. Four out, number three, and we head to the bottom of the fifth. It's Milton zero, Ashland zero. You are tuned in, Ashland seven, summer baseball. Bottom of the fifth inning, Shea Donovan, the third baseman, steps to the plate. Classic pitcher's duel so far between Jake Donahue and Tyler Dossus as we are scoreless. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Donahue delivers. And this is hit in the air over to right field. And it is caught for out number one. Finn Doherty had a little trouble at first tracking it down, but was able to get under it. And that'll bring up Isaac Curley, the catcher. Nick Calabrese due up next. He holds his swing there and takes ball one. First base umpire confirming. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Set to deliver. There's strike two, one and two. Donahue delivers, and this is hit in the air over to right field and caught by Finn Doherty. Finn Doherty covering a good amount of ground in right field, and that'll 
bring up Nick Calabresi, the right fielder. So the pitching continues to dominate in this one, at least for the moment. There's strike one. Up and the pitch. And this is hit up the middle to the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. One, two, three in the bottom of the fifth. To the top of the sixth we go. Milton and Ashland are scoreless in this Massachusetts Independent Baseball League game. Top of the sixth inning, 9-1 and 2 do up for Milton. Jack Crowley, Jack Facey, and Andrew Posse to face Tyler Dossis, who has pitched five wonderful innings so far in this game. He's given up only three hits total. No runs, of course. And has a few strikeouts as well, three to be exact. And there's strike one to Crowley. Line up and the pitch. Down low, one and one. That pitch is up high, two and one. Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air and foul. Two and two. Two-two pitch from Dossis, and he got him. Another strikeout for Tyler Dossis. Gets Jack Crowley looking. Now bring up Jack Facey, the second baseman. The pitch inside, one and zero. Oh. Doss is set to deliver, and this is hit in the air, right side, and is it catchable? No. One and one. Kavanaugh made a good effort trying to run over and make the catch, but it did end up out of play. Back to the mound goes Dossis. Facey steps back into the box. No one one. There's a strike, one and two. Dossis deals a little low there, two and two. Wind up and the pitch. A little bit outside there, that'll fill up the count on Facey. Second hitter in the lineup, Andrew Posse, do up next for Milton. Leg lift and the pitch, he hit him. One on, one out. Second hit batter 
by Dossis. That'll bring up Andrew Posse, the shortstop. Dossis from the stretch. Nice breaking pitch, strike one. Dossis deals, and this is hit in foul territory and out of play, 0 oh, and 2. And Doherty, the right fielder, due up next for Milton. Wind up and the pitch, upstairs, one and two. Well, this seems like the type of game that's gonna come down to who scores the first run. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air over to center field. It's a very deep center field, and it is caught by Sam Farrell, who can certainly cover a lot of ground out there, two away. And it was a good throw in, which forced Facey to stay at first base. That'll bring up Finn Doherty. That's a pretty good pitcher's ballpark here, I would say. Pretty deep to get it out of here. As this is hit in the air right side, it appears from here to be in foul territory, and it is. Oh, and one. Ben Doherty, one for two on the day, singled in the fourth inning. And following that, Jack Belboni was hit by a pitch, but then Charlie Walker hit in a five to four double play to end that fourth inning. Doss is from the stretch, and this is hit high in the air, right side, and it is at a play. Oh, and two. Ashland Sevens will be at Westwood tomorrow night, 5.45 p.m. game. Doss is from the stretch. He deals. And this is hit in the air, cruising towards center field, but Farrell is there and makes the catch. And that will be the third out of the top half of the six. To the bottom of the inning we go. Milton zero, Ashland zero. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball on HKM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Thank you. Bottom of the sixth inning is Tyler Dossis starts things off. Wind up and the pitch is hit in the air, right side to right field and caught. And that was very deep into right field. A catch there by Finn Doherty. One away, and that'll bring up Sam Farrell. Doss has certainly got some range. On that one, but of course, uh, it's very deep here in Robert H. Adams Field and no outfield fence either. Farrell 0 for 2 today, takes a strike there. 0 and 2 is the count. Jake Donahue just continuing to battle for Milton. Farrell gets a piece of this one into center field. It goes. That'll get down for a hit, and it is going to be a one-out single for the center fielder. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Kevin Balowitz, one for two on the day. Oh, 
Well, some good speed on first base for the sevens. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. There will be some warm up action, it looks like, for Milton. That pitch down low, one and one. Donahue set to deliver. And that's a foul tip there by Balowitz. Luke Linehan getting loose for Milton. Right up and the pitch, runner taking off. This is up the left side, picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first, pulls the first baseman off the bag, but he's able to get that foot down and get Balowitz. Farrell did advance to second. So five to three for out number two, and that'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, who's looking for his first hit of the day. Well, you know, Coach Obid's going to be aggressive Base running wise with how well Jake Donahue has pitched so far in this game. This is one of those games that you really just have to kind of try to manufacture a run across. Line up and the pitch. There's the ball. One and oh. Donahue set to deal. Fouled away. One and one. Donahue working from a bit of a stretch. And he delivers. Cavanaugh gets a piece of this, takes a couple hops to the third baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Five to three, four out, number three. And we remain scoreless as we head to the top half of the seventh. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Top of the seventh inning. Coming up for Milton it is four, five, and six. Jack Balboni, Charlie Walker, and Colin Hoey. Tyler Dossis in for another inning of work. He's pitched a gem so far, and this is hit high in the air over to right field. And it looks like plenty of room to work with and able to make the catch is Nick Calabrese. One away, that'll bring up Charlie Walker, the third baseman. Line up and the pitch. A little high there, one and oh. Fouled away. One and one is the count on Walker, who is 0 for 2 today. Doss is set to deal. And just staying alive there is Walker, one and two. Get a piece of that one. One-two pitch. And he gets a good piece of this ball, but it's right at the shortstop, Dan Quinn, two away. Good catch there by Quinn on a rocket by Walker. Colin Hoey will step in.
Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, go and one. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul out of play. Oh and two. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, over to right field. Could be trouble. That's gonna get down for a hit. Hoey heading over to second base, throws cut off, and it's a two out double. Well, no offense out there in that outfield, so it's pretty much impossible to hit a home run unless you clear that wooden fence towards the parking lot center field and part of right field but along that right side a lot of field to work with Tim Cooper the first baseman will step in and it looks like we have a stoppage of some sort here And it looks like an intentional walk was issued to Cooper. So that'll put runners on first and second. Michael Donahue, the catcher, will step in. Intentional walk granted, so they have a play at every base to get out of the inning. Catcher Michael Donahue, one for two so far today. Take strike one. Line up and the pitch. Breaking pitch inside, one and one. Doss is from the stretch. And this is ripped into right field. That'll get down. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Hoey. The throw in is cut off. It's one to nothing, Milton. An RBI single for Michael Donahue. Tim Cooper moves up to third. And Colin Hoey comes around to score the first run of the game. So next inning, the Ashland Sevens will be down to their final three outs. Jack Crowley, the DH, will step in. And it looks like we'll have a pinch hitter here for Milton. It's going to be Kevin Radley stepping in to hit. There's a strike. The 0-1 pitch. Gets a piece of this one up the middle, gloved by the second baseman, and he'll flip it to second for the force out. Two and the inning, but Milton achieves what they wanted to do, which is plate a run and take the one to nothing lead as we head to the bottom of the seventh. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Bottom of the seventh inning, and the Ashland Sevens for the first time this season are down to their final three outs. Mason Dushney, Danny Quinn, and Shea Donovan do up to face Jake Donahue, who's going for the complete game shutout win. But the Sevens have some good bats standing in his way. A 1-0 Milton lead. After an RBI base hit by Michael Donahue, the catcher. The first pitch is down low. The RBI hit scored Colin Hoey for the only run of the game up to this point. one -oh pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Mason Dushney is one for two so far on the day. Mason Dushney, Danny Quinn, Shea Donovan do up for the sevens. 
Wind up being the pitch. Gets a piece of this one, right side. Is it gonna stay fair? Yes, it is. Around first he goes, heading over to second base. And it is going to be a double to start off the inning for Mason Dushney. Well, things have just got a whole lot more interesting here at Robert H. Adams Field in Holliston. As the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the seventh, Mason Dushney stands at second base after ripping a double over to right field. Danny Quinn, the shortstop, is going to be pinch hit for. Stepping in, it's going to be Lawrence Tang for the Ashland Sevens. A hitter with certainly a lot of power. And we have a conference on the mound between the Milton coach and his pitcher as Dan Sweeney is out to talk with Jake Donahue. Milton did have warm-up action earlier as Luke Lenahan was getting ready. And it appears for the moment Donahue will stay in the game. Runner on second, no outs. A 1-0 Milton lead. Lawrence Tang coming to the plate. Donahue working from the stretch. Down low, one and oh. Lawrence Tang, a Hopkinton native out of Belmont High School. Set to graduate in 2022. And is known for his bat power. Swing and a miss, one and one. Donahue working from the stretch, and certainly a little bit more slower than usual, with a runner on second and no outs. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss, one and two. Donahue takes a look at second and deals. And the umpire called out one a strike. Tank certainly didn't like it. It looked a little high from here. One away. Shea Donovan will step in. Coach Obid not happy about that call. So one out, runner on second for the sevens. Donahue deals. Breaking pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Donahue delivers down low, one and one. Now Michael Donahue going to have a chat with his brother on the mound, talk things over. Mason Dushney over at second base after a double to start off the inning. Shea Donovan with a chance to tie this game at one. 
Line up and the pitch. Gets a piece of it up the left side. That'll get through into left field. Runner gonna be waved around. Here comes Dushney, and we are knotted up at one apiece. An RBI single for Shea Donovan. Well, Shea Donovan will certainly get a welcome greeting from his teammates when he heads back to the bench following this inning. And now with one out and a runner on first and the ball game tied at one apiece, Isaac Curley steps in. And oh, check that, we're gonna have a pinch hitter. Connor Kramer is in there. He takes a strike. Connor Kramer, 16 year old out of Ashland. Class of 2022. And he gets a piece of that one. Ends up being a foul tip. 0 oh, and 2. Donahue set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to right field, and it is caught for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Nick Calabrese, dangerous hitter for the sevens. One for two on the day today. And how about Shea Donovan coming through with that clutch hit to drive in Mason Dushney and tie the game at one apiece. There's no quit in this. Ashland Sevens team for sure. Certainly no quit in Coach Obed. Swing and a miss, so and one. Slight lead at first for Donovan. And he's taking off as this is hit in the air over to left field, could be trouble. That's gonna get down for a base hit. And the runner heading to third is Shea Donovan. He'll stay there. It'll be runners on the corners with two outs. So Donovan over at third. Calabrese at first, and now are we going to have a pitching change here? Doesn't look like a pitching change at the moment, but certainly a conference with the infield on the mound. Another good piece of hitting by Nick Calabrese, who has just been on a tear to start off this season. Tyler Dossis, the pitcher, is due up. He's one for three on the day. Run here would win it for the Ashland Sevens as we are in the bottom of the seventh inning. And it looks like we are going to have a pitching change for Milton, a great performance by Jake Donahue. But since we have a pitching change, we'll take a timeout come back and let you know who will take over. The Ashland Sevens have tied things up at one apiece here in the bottom of the seventh on WACA-TV, HCAM and HCAT. Continuing on in the bottom of the seventh, the new pitcher is Andrew Posse who moves over from second base. And he will face Tyler Dossis with runners on the corners. Two outs in the inning. We are knotted up at one apiece. Posse takes a long look in as Dossis waves the bat around. And time called there by the hitter. Line up and the pitch. Down low, one and oh. And 
Andrew Posse started the game at shortstop, now on the mound. Wind up in the pitch. Down low. That'll make it a 2 and 0 count on Dossis. Sam Farrell do up next. Shell Dossis reach. Checking at first. Runner back safe. The new shortstop is Ryan Kelly for Milton. Posse set to deliver. And this is up the left side, slow roller. Runner at third's gonna stay put. And the throw will be in time to get Dossis. So one to three out, and we will head to the top of the eighth with the game not at one. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Top of the eighth inning, we are into extras here at Robert H. Adams Field. The game knotted at one apiece. Tyler Dossis remains on the mound for the Ashland Sevens. He's had a brilliant performance so far today, pitching seven solid innings, giving up, of course, the one run in the top half of the inning. And he's given up six hits overall. And he is set to work to work against Jack Facey, the second baseman, top of the order for Milton. Jack Facey, Andrew Posse, and Finn Doherty do up. Quick conversation on the mound for Dossus. First pitch is a strike. Well, it's been a great pitcher's duel here today and all the suspense really coming in that seventh inning where Milton went ahead in the top of the inning and then the Ashland Sevens responded in a big way in the bottom of the inning. It all started off with a double by Mason Dushney and then Lawrence Tank struck out, Shea Donovan would then drive in Dushney. There's a strike, one and two. Time is called. And I believe the Rule in Massachusetts Independent Baseball League as far as extra innings is concerned is no play through nine. But the games can end in a tie as this is hit in the air to center field. That'll get down for a hit. A lead off single for Facey. We'll bring up Andrew Posse. Started the game at shortstop and then moved over to the pitcher's mound. And he was able to get his team out of that bottom of the seventh after Ashland had runners on the corners with two outs. Here's a bunt fouled away. The 0-1. This is hit high in the air over to left field, and it is going to be caught. Sam Farrell calling off Balowitz to make the catch. Facey stays put at first base. One out, one on. Finn Doherty to the plate.
Checking at first, runner back safe. Doss is from the stretch. And this is hit in the air over to left field. This could be trouble, and it's going to get past the reach of Balowitz. Here comes Posse around third base. He will score with ease, and it is going to be an RBI double for Finn Doherty. So it is now a two to one game. As Jack Facey comes around to score, now the umpire is going to give him third base. Well, Facey, or excuse me, Finn Doherty thought the umpire was giving him third base. The umpire is saying ground rule double. So hold everything. It looks like Facey's going to have to head back to third since it is a ground rule double. So because of where that ball landed, it is a ground rule double. which means Facey will have to head back to third. So it'll be runners on second and third with one out. And the cleanup man, Jack Balboni, coming to the plate for Milton. The Ashland Sevens having a conference on the mound. So erase the run for Milton. Score remains one to one. Ground rule double ruled by the umpire due to the ground rules here at Adams Field. So Jack Facey at third, Finn Doherty at second. Jack Belboni to the play. Dossus stays in for the moment. Gets a piece of this, up the middle, glove by the second baseman. The throw home is going to be dropped by the catcher and a run will score. It's a two to one Milton lead. An RBI single for Balboni. And you could certainly argue that whether it was a hit or an error, I'll give it a hit for now, but in any case, gives Milton the lead. Charlie Walker, the third baseman, will step in. So Milton back on top. And once again, the Ashland Sevens will be down to their final three outs next inning. That pitch is up high. One and oh. And this is hit in the air, left side. This is going to be trouble. And that is going to drop and be a ground ruled double. So since there's no fence here, it's a ground ruled double for Charlie Walker and the bats really coming alive for Milton now. Finn Doherty around to score, Jack Balboni to third, still only one out in the inning. It's a three to one Milton lead. Colin Hoey will step in to hit. Doss is going to stay out there and try to battle through it for now. And this is going to be a bunt in the air, gets by everybody, and another run's going to score. Well, the deceptive bunt works. And everybody's going to be safe. Jack Balboni comes around to score. So an RBI single for Hoey. And Walker remains at second. And this pitch is going to hit the hitter. Cooper will trot down to first base. And now it'll be bases loaded for Milton. And it'll be interesting now to see if Coach Obed leaves Dossus in. Oh. 
Michael Donahue will come to the plate, and it looks like Coach Obit is out to take the ball, and he indeed will. So that'll be the day for Dossis, a very well-pitched game by Tyler Dossis. He went seven and a third, and gets a nice applause from the crowd. But he will get the rest of the evening off, and we'll take a break and come back and let you know who is pitching next for the Ashland Sevens. Louis Dennison is on the mound to relieve Tyler Dossis. Stepping in is Michael Donahue. Bases loaded for Milton, one out in the inning. And they have plated three runs here in the top of the eighth. They lead it four to one. That pitch outside from Dennison. They've had a couple ground rule doubles in this inning since there's no outfield fence along the left side of the outfield. Anything that would pr normally be a home run pretty much ends up being a ground rule double. No and two count on Donahue. Time called. Dennison wants to stretch out a little bit. He had some work the other night. Some solid innings. And their win last game on Thursday. And he hit the batter. That'll walk in a run. So Charlie Walker comes around to score the fifth Milton run of the day. And things are looking good for a four and two Milton. Get a pinch hitter here. There's a strike. Ryan Kelly at the plate. Milton has batted around in this inning. Dennison delivers. There's a strike. 0 oh and 2 is the count. Dennison deals, swing and a miss, so number two. It'll bring up Jack Facey, the second baseman and leadoff man. There's a strike. From Dennison. Well, Dossis ended up giving up 11 hits overall in the game. But funny enough, as time is called, uh, six of those came in this inning. So I just think he straight out ran out of gas in the inning. And the run that was. Walked in by the hit batter, also was charged to Dossis, as this is up the middle, and a six to three ground out. To wrap up the top half of the eighth, the Ashland Sevens down to their final three outs, as we head to the bottom of the eighth on HKM WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the eighth inning, the Ashland Sevens will be down to their final three outs. Well, Tyler Dossis started off the game at a pretty good pitching performance up until the eighth inning where he just seemed to run out of gas. He went seven and a third overall, giving up 11 hits, four strikeouts, four runs, all of them earned, and hit two batters. And Milton was able to plate four runs in the top half of the inning as they just straight out rallied and took advantage of the Struggles of Tyler Dossis, and then Louis Dennison was able to get him out of the inning with no further harm. Do up this inning for the sevens will be two, three, and four in the order. Sam Farrell, Kevin Ballowitz, Tom Cavanaugh. But if you've been watching Ashland Sevens baseball recently, you know there is no quit in this Ashland team, especially in Coach Obid. So they will certainly try to get something going here in this 
bottom of the eighth, but they'll have their work cut out for them. Remaining on the mound for Milton is Andrew Posse. He will get his second inning of work. And we are set to go as Sam Farrell steps in. And first pitch is going to be a ball, one and oh. Line up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this. Up the left side it goes, and it's going to be a leadoff single for Sam Farrell. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Posse working from the stretch. Farrell with a lot of speed over at first base. First pitch to Balowitz is ball one. Five to one lead for Milton. So the Ashland Sevens will have to rally if they want a chance to come back and win this game or walk off as the check-in at first is going to get away. And Sam Farrell will advance over to second base on the first error of the game for Milton. So a runner in scoring position now for the Sevens. Posse set to deliver. There's a strike. Time called is Catcher Michael Donahue going to give Posse some words of encouragement. Runner on second, no outs for the sevens here in the bottom of the eighth. Ashland needs four runs to at least keep the game going as they find themselves down five to one. Wind up and the pitch. Balowitz gets a piece of this, roller up to the third baseman, throw to first. And did he get it? He is going to be safe at first. Balowitz showing off the speed up the line, and now it's two on with no outs. Dom Kavanaugh steps to the plate. Well, the one thing you've got to be wary of if you're Milton, this is a dangerous part of this Ashland Sevens batting order. Line up and the pitch. Inside, one and oh. Well, you wonder what the, le the leash is going to be with Posse. Kavanaugh is 0 for 3 on the day. He has struggled at the plate today. Line up and the pitch. Up high there, good eye, 2 and oh. Farrell at second, Balowitz at first. Balowitz has, have, has had a couple of those hits that looked like it was an easy out, but he's just able to beat it up the line. And he certainly has some wheels up that first baseline. The pitch fouled away by Balowitz. Two and one is the count. It's turned into a nice night here at Robert H. Adams Field after a very hot and humid day. Humidity has certainly dropped significantly throughout the course of the night. Posse looks at second and deals. Down low, gets away from the catcher and the runner from second as well as Balowitz are going to advance. A very short backstop area here, but both Farrell and Balowitz have great speed, so they are able to advance. And now both runners in scoring position with no outs. Three and one count. Both runners advancing on the wild pitch. 
Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs and Kavanaugh draws the walk. Bases loaded, no outs for the sevens. Well, it ain't over till it's over. That's what they say is Mason Dushney will step in. Dushney is two for three on the day. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1 is the count. Leg lift and the pitch. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch. And that is going to be strike three, one away. So now base is loaded with one out for the sevens. We're gonna have a pinch hitter for Ashland. Max Dushney will step in to pinch hit. And he takes ball one. He's set to deal upstairs. Well, no matter what the outcome of this game is, it has been a well-played, very entertaining game, especially in the last couple of innings. A lot of fun to watch here tonight. Posse set to deal. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike. Two and one is the count on Max Dushney. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Posse trying to pitch his way out of a jam here. Bases loaded, one out for the sevens. And Ball got by the catcher. And it looks like it's going to be a strikeout for Dushney. He wasn't sure if he could go or not. But that is out number two. So now the sevens are down to their final out. Shea Donovan will step in. They do have the tying run at the plate, however. Shea Donovan is one for three on the day, and he's hit pretty well as of late. Takes a ball here. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Leg lift and the pitch. There's another strike. One and two. So the sevens down to their final strike. The Ashland Sevens, the last remaining undefeated team, as this is hit up the right side. Glove by the first baseman. Throw over is going to get away. One run is already in. Here comes another run. And we are not quite done yet. A five to three game as Kavanaugh advances to third. Shea Donovan advancing to second and he'll be scored as reaching with an error. Sam Farrell and Kevin Balowitz around to score. And once again, the Sevens have an opportunity to get back into this game. They got the tying run at second base. And perhaps the winning run coming to the plate. Oh, 
First pitch is inside, one and oh. Nick. Swing and a miss. One and one is the count. Inside. It's Nick Larsh at the plate for the sevens. Pinch hitting. Nick Larsh, a 15 year old out of Holliston in the class of 2023. Andrew Posse would get the win. And we have an animal on the field. Looks like there's a groundhog on the field. So it is Groundhog's Day here at Robert H. Adams Field. Coach Obed going to try to chase him away. And we'll certainly try to get a good shot of him for the broadcast as well. Oh, well, it's turned into a pretty entertaining night to say the least in many ways. And that groundhog does not want to leave. I think he wants to play some baseball. And some of the players trying to maybe get rid of him. But he wants to stay out there. He's getting a real good view of this game. And it looks like they Finally have got rid of the groundhog from the premises. Well, that was something. Anyways, back to baseball. As Nick Larsh will step back in, a 2-1 count, a 5-3 game, two on for the sevens, and Larsh is hit by a pitch. Two outs in the inning and bases loaded. And now you have the dangerous Nick Calabrese coming to the plate. Wow, has this game has ha had some crazy twists and turns. And we'll see if there's any more wild twists and turns. Swing and a miss, so and one. Posse set to deal. And that pitch was low, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, two and one. Calabrese shall walk, a run would score. Leg left and the pitch. Gets a piece of it over to left center. That'll drop in. One run is in to score. Here comes the tying run. And guess what? We're not in at five apiece. Unbelievable. A two RBI single by Nick Calabrese. And the Ashland Sevens continue to be the team that just won't go away. And now the winning run, Nick Larsh over at second base as Tyler Doss is set to step to the plate. Of course, he came out of the game as the pitcher. So Louis Dennison is going to step in. Dennison relieved Doss this last inning, and it looks like we could have more innings of baseball. As we are knotted up at five apiece, unless the Sevens are able to drive in another run and walk off with the victory. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. What an unbelievable baseball game this has been. 
It has been a wild ride for sure. Five to five. Throw over to second. They got Larsh now in a pickle. He's going to head to third and now back to second. And now he's going to head back to third and fall to the ground and they got him. Well, after eight innings of play, it is a five to five game and we will play on here at Robert H. Adams Field. The Ashland Sevens were trailing by four heading into the bottom of the eighth, but they rallied and came up with four runs of their own to keep this game going. Unbelievable. Top of the ninth up next. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Top of the ninth inning, the Ashland Sevens trailed by four heading into the bottom of the eighth, but they rallied and ended up coming back and tying the game back up at five apiece. The team with no quit, the Ashland Sevens. So we continue on as Andrew Posse is at the plate for Milton. Louis Dennison out for another inning of relief as that pitch is fouled away. We'll bring the count to one and one. Dennison deals. This is hit in the air, right side. It is in foul territory and out of the reach of everybody, one and two. Well, since the game is now tied at five, that takes Tyler Dossis out of the decision process, whether he would get a win or a loss. It's now Louis Dennison with a chance to get the win. Upstairs, two and two. Of course, there are ties as well in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Up the left side, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first, one away. That'll bring up Finn Doherty, the right fielder. Dennison deals. It hit him. One on, one out. Jack Balboni due up now. He is one for three on the day and was hit by a pitch. That is warm up action for Milton. Luke Linehan is back up and warming up. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one is the count. Runner on first, one out here in the ninth. Dennison deals inside. Time was called by the hitter. Dennison delivers upstairs, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, two and two. Yeah. 
Dennison checks in at first, runner back safe. Dennison looks at first and deals. Runner taking off. There'll be no throw. Stolen base for Doherty. And the count is three and two on Balboni. Wind up and the pitch. It hit him. Two on with one out. Well, Dennison it likes to try to work those inside corners and has that submarine style delivery. And he is known to hit a lot of batters. Charlie Walker set to step in for Milton. Coach Obin wants a discussion with the infield. Runners on first and second, one out in the top of the ninth. A five to five game after the Ashland Sevens came storming back to plate four runs of their own after Milton plated four runs in the top of the eighth. And it certainly did not appear, adding to the bottom of that inning, that things were going to go well for the Sevens tonight. But the bats got going, and they were able to get to Andrew Posse well in that bottom of the eighth. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. And of course, uh, during that inning, we had the old groundhog incident with a groundhog that did not want to get off the field. All kinds of fun here at Adams Field. As that pitch is going to get away from the catcher, both runners will advance. That is big stuff for Milton. They now have two in scoring position with one out. Dennison has certainly been wild versus these last few hitters. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, a nice pitch there. And two is the count as Dennison working from the stretch. Set to deliver. There's a strike. He deals. That's going to be a ball. Wind up and the pitch. Just outside. Two and one is the count. On Colin Hoey. Dennison set to deliver. And that was inside, almost hit him. Three and one is the count. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, and it's going to get by the second baseman. One run is in to score. Here comes another on the throw in, not in time. Two more score for Milton. And they have retaken the lead, 7-5. to five. A two RBI hit for Colin Hoey. Now, Tim Cooper will step in. Oh, 
And this is hit in the air, and it is foul. 0 oh and 1. Well, Colin Hoey could end up being the hero today for the Milton team who came into this game at 4 and 2. And for the third time tonight, they have the lead, but the question is, will they be able to hold it? They grabbed the lead in the top of the seventh, but then the sevens ended up tying it up at one apiece to send it to the eighth. Milton plated four runs in the eighth. Ashland sevens responded with four of their own, but now Milton has plated two here in this ninth inning. Wind up and the pitch. One and two is the count on Cooper. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, says the umpire. Dennison delivers. And this is up the right side. And that is going to get by Kavanaugh. Here comes another run to score. And Milton trying to add as much security as possible. And it's pretty rough around that first base line, but certainly got to give the error there. It'll be the first error of the game for the Sevens. As Kavanaugh struggled with that one. RBI for Cooper as Michael Donahue will step in with three runs in and two outs. An eight to five lead now for Milton. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Dennison deals. Hit in the air over to right field and that is going to drop for a hit. A single there for Donahue that pushes Cooper up to second. And it looks like we'll have a pinch hitter here for Milton. Luke Linehan will step in to hit in the DH spot. He'll also take over on the mound next inning. He's been up warming a couple times tonight. He takes strike one. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike two. Excuse me, ball one, one and one. Dennison deals. And this is ripped in the air to left field and it's gonna go off the glove of Valowitz and here comes another run for Milton. And that was a tough play to make. Balowitz really had to get the glove down there. I guess I'll score that a single, but of course, good argue it was an error. Donahue up to second, and it's a 9 to 5 Milton lead. Back to the top of the order we go. Jack Facey will step in. Ball one. Dennison deals. Another ball there, two and oh. Dennison just trying to get out of this inning and get the sevens back to the plate for the bottom of the ninth. 
Question is, will the Sevens be able to tie it up for the fourth straight inning? And it would be the, this is the second straight inning that they gave up four runs. And they were already able to come back in the eighth with four runs of their own to tie it up, but doing that a second time, certainly a tall task. Two and two, the count on Facey. And Dennison needs time. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike three and that'll do it for the top half of the ninth inning. The Ashland Sevens coming up in the bottom of the inning but they find themselves down nine to five due up for the Sevens. Next inning it will be the two, three and four hitters in the lineup, certainly a good part of the batting order. Can the Ashland Sevens get back in this game once again and tie things up and keep it moving along? Find out next, you're tuned into Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Bottom of the ninth inning. It is a nine to five Milton Lee. The Ashland Sevens will have to get the offense going once again if they wanna keep this game going or have a chance to walk away with it. As for the second straight inning, they enter the bottom half down by four. Luke Linehan, the new pitcher for Milton. At the plate, it's Andrew Dennison. Line up and the pitch up high. There's a strike, one and one. I think at this point, Coach Obed gonna maybe give some of the younger guys just an opportunity to get into the game. Knowing that the chances of coming back two straight innings down four are very slim. But what a ball game it was between these two teams. Pitch inside, two and two. And a hand working fast. Ball three there. Full count. And he'll draw the walk. Bring up Sam Farrell. Excuse me, that was Andrew Dennison pinch hitting for his brother in that top spot. Went a hand set to deal. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one, fouled away. Oh and two, the count on Farrell. Inside and it looks like he got a piece of the bat. So he will stay at the plate. Runner on first, no outs for the sevens. Pitch down low. And in there for a strike, out number one. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Didn't quite see the strike call there by the umpire, kind of a subtle one. One on, one out. Wind up and the pitch. 
Balowitz gets a piece of this one in the air to right field and caught two away. The sevens down to their final out, trailing nine to five. Hits on the day today for those five runs as Cavanaugh takes a strike. Luke Linehan would earn the win for Milton if he's able to get this third out. But what a sequence of events starting in the seventh inning. A one to one seventh inning, a four to four eighth inning. And so far it's a Four to nothing ninth inning as the ball is delivered to Kavanaugh. But two talented teams that really wanted to take this one here tonight. Great effort on both sides. As there is a strike delivered to Kavanaugh, and he's down to his final strike. Two and two is the count. Right up and the pitch. There's strike three, and that will do it. And after nine innings, Milton is going to come away with the victory as they take down the Ashland Sevens by a final of nine to five. It was a great game filled with a whole lot of action, some unbelievable comebacks and happenings. Certainly a very memorable one to watch. But Milton improves to five and two and hands Ashland their first loss of the season by taking the win nine to five. Ashland now six and one on the season. Your winning pitcher is Luke Linehan. The losing pitcher is Louis Dennison. For my cameraman Tom Hamilton, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Ashland Seven Summer Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland and HCAT in Holliston. The final score for the final time, Milton defeats Ashland nine to five. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon.